Hey folks, here's a quick highlight video for Retargeter 4.6. There's a new release come out today that has uh, some really cool new features and a, and a lot of improvements that um, I think almost everybody's going to be able to take advantage of. Uh, so the first new feature is you'll notice in our post groups here that we have a new group for the head. Uh, so I've already retargeted it and if I scrub my timeline you can see that I now have head rotation coming directly from my video. I haven't done any other parts of the face yet but uh, you can see it's uh, it's almost 100% accurate. It uh, does a really, really nice job, and the best part is that it's fully automatic. It uses auto solve. Uh, in fact, if you were to add poses and do tweaks to the head motion, it, it would actually be uh, not quite as good as the automatic result because it's actually a one-to-one -one rotation from the from the video from the analysis data. So uh, you can add poses to sort of tweak or augment things as you always can, but. Uh, as far as accuracy, you're going to want to use AutoSolve to get a complete one-to-one -one, uh, rotational match from the video. Now, if you're using head cam video, perhaps this feature isn't as useful because there's no head motion, but static cam uh, head motion and rotation uh, will come out really nicely. Uh, includes all three axes for head movement. Um, to build in this new feature, we've added some new expressions to our expression set. So when you load up your XML file, it's going to ask you to update. Uh, there's another video available that kind of goes through the whole process of updating and what you need to do. But just a quick look, here's the new expressions that you'll be adding in. So you can also see there is a jaw group, which is uh, a product of the new independent jaw tracking available in Analyzer. Um, there's also an independent cheeks group, which is going to have its own dedicated video due to the, it's a little bit more complex than the others. So. Uh, it'll have its own tutorial, but uh, the jaw group allows us to independently uh, animate the jaw. Now, we could always animate the jaw as part of the mouth group in the past. We did have data for that based on the texture tracking, but the independent shape tracking now available allows us to get more accurate jaw animation. Now, it is based on the chin line, which is not always going to be 100% accurate. You know, if you have like a, uh, a chew shape, for example, or you know, like a chin razor, things like that, where, where the actual jawline or what appears to be the jawline is moving, uh, but it's not actually representing the jaw itself, uh, the mandible. Um, it won't be accurate on those points, but I think you'll find that when using it, it's more accurate most of the time. So it's not going to be 100% right, you know, on every frame, but uh, compared to just using the texture tracking, it actually gives us uh, a higher percentage of accuracy. So uh, it's still going to enable you to produce better results. To be clear, when I'm speaking about accuracy, I'm referring specifically to AutoSolve, which is uh, the sort of automatic blocking pass that you get right out of the technology. When using Retargeter Pro, you have access to the poses feature as well as shared poses, which allow you to go in there and add tweaks to make sure that you have complete accuracy uh, in regards to the mouth and the jaw movement. The increases in accuracy that I'm talking about in this video are specific to the automatic results. Now going beyond AutoSolve, having the ability to independently pose the jaw will also allow you to achieve higher results in Retargeter Pro. So all across the board you're going to be able to get better, stronger results with this change. Remember this is an optional group that will only come from new data from Analyzer 2.6 and above, and only if you choose to uh, track your videos using these extra groups and, and enabling this extra data. So it's a little bit more work of tracking in the beginning to get this data properly, uh, but once you have it, you're enabled to create even better animation than you were before. All right, so that about covers the brand new features. Uh, some of these features are, are pretty complex in and of themselves, so they're gonna have their own videos as far as best practices and, and how to take advantage of the data, um, but that's a quick highlight for you. Uh, there is a lot of other small improvements and, and bug fixes that were highly requested. Uh, I'd advise going over to our website and reading the change log for Retargeter. It gives you a full breakdown of everything that's new and improved. And uh, we really hope you guys can create some awesome new data with this. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find us, support at facewortech.com, uh, as well as our website knowledge base at support.facewortech.com.